Hey everyone, welcome. Today I wanted to show you a great uh, trick in the system that a lot of people don't know about that you can actually transfer um, already posted but unpaid ARAP documents to a different uh, business partner. So why would you want to use a feature like this? So potentially the invoice is posted in error. Um, of course, you could create a credit memo and then you could recreate the document. You could copy the document and change the supplier, but there's quite a lot of steps to that. Um, so this is a simpler solution. Uh, it's also possible that the customer or the supplier has been acquired. So you may be in a situation where you get notified by the customer or supplier that instead you should be paying or get paid by uh, a different party. Or perhaps there's some sort of a bankruptcy situation where a third party comes in. And so you know that, you know, a, a different ownership of that document uh, so those are just a couple of the reasons why you might want to use this feature. So how does it work? Uh, very simple. It's going to create a journal entry, um, but it's going to essentially debit and credit the same control accounts, your accounts payable, accounts receivable, but it is going to remove it from, let's say, supplier A, put it into supplier B, or the same thing with the customer. So before I show you this in the system, just a couple limitations. A uh, document must be open, so you cannot use this to transfer, for example, a paid invoice um, that was posted in error and paid in error. And you must transfer to a business partner with a relationship to the legal entity that you originally set the document up in. So as an example, you cannot use this to say, I want to transfer this to a different business partner. However, that different business partner is an intercompany, has a different intercompany entity on your side that's expecting the payment or planning to make the payment. So it won't do an intercompany transfer for you. So with that, let's, um, let's go into the system and have a look at how this works. So I'm inside SAP. I've already set up a supplier invoice on the wrong supplier. So for this, I'm gonna go right down into my supplier accounts. Um, I'm going to search for a specific a supplier. So in this case, I have Donovan Marketing, and you can see I have an $1,850 balance. However, I want to actually, in fact, pay Donovan Controls. So I'm going to go into the supplier with the invoice. Make sure if you've got multiple invoices, you should click on the box to the left so that you're highlighting the correct row of the document that you want to transfer. And then up here in your band of buttons, you're going to see a button called Actions. Click on that and choose the option called Repost Open Items. So at this point, you've really just got a couple of fields to fill out. So the system is using today as the default posting date. I'm going to stay that in my case. You could, of course, backdate this if you wanted to. You're going to have to put in a description of why you're doing this, and you're going to have to choose your supplier. A little tip here, put in your description first. That seems to work better. Uh, so I'm just going to say per supplier instruction. And for my new supplier, I'm going to choose my Donovan controls. Then I'm going to use the post button. And it tells me this was successfully posted. So let's close this and close this. Go back here and refresh our query, and you can now see that that 1850 has been moved from Donovan Marketing to Donovan Controls. Now, in every other way, the supplier invoice is the same as it was originally entered. So your same description, it's got the same reference numbers. You could drill into it. You could look at that supplier uh, invoice, and you would see that as you originally entered it, it's exactly the same. It's just now on this new supplier. So simple as that. Uh, just a quick point on the journal entry. So if I go to my general ledger and I look at journal entries, you can see that I have my original posting. Um, maybe just to make this simpler, why don't we just look at our one set of books? So we'll just look at US Gap. So my original document was my supplier invoice. And so that document debited professional fees, credited my accounts payable. And then it creates this new document based on the transaction I just showed you called Repost Resplit. And so debit and credit the exact same GL account. However, during that transaction, it swapped out your business partners. Go in and have a look at that. 
your business partner uh, is in fact uh, shown on your journal entry as well. So you can see here, we have a new credit now for, debit, for uh, Donovan Controls and then a debit to reverse out uh, Donovan Marketing. And it's as simple as that. So that's all there is to it. Um, before we go, just wanna show you that inside receivables, the feature works exactly the same. So we can pop into any one of these um, customers that have a document. Doesn't really matter which one I pick. When you view, so once again, remember that to select the right document, it has to be open. Go to your actions button, and then you'll see this repost open items. And it takes you to an identical screen and you can do the same transaction. So as simple as that, thank you for joining us today.